In today's episode, I learned what torsion bars are, and I got to make a new tool. Hi guys, welcome back to Ellie's Garage, where my dad and I are restoring a 1965 Ford Falcon to become my daily driver. But we've never done this before. I've always wondered why my trunk opens by itself, and apparently it's because of things called torsion bars. Torsion bars are basically two bars and they go between the two hinges. One side is an anchor and the other side is twisted. So the tension on that twist keeps the hood from closing on itself. Um, and you can actually see it over here. This is one of the torsion bars that keeps the hinge pushed up. And then the other torsion bar, which is connected to the other hinge, is down here. And it goes into three little notches, um, each notch putting more tension on the bar. It's kind of weird because this side is put on notch two and the other side is put on notch three so they have different tensions which is kind of a weird thing for carl to have to take the torsion bar off you need to take the end and basically untwist it so slowly but to do that you need the right tools unfortunately we don't have the right tools and the manual doesn't say a lot about this and it doesn't even say a lot about the tool and the tool isn't even in the manual but we did some looking online, we found out that you can buy the tool, but we also found out that it's pretty easy to make the tool. So we are going to make the tool. So this is the tool that we're going to make. It's um, an eighth of inch thick, one inch wide piece of metal, and we are going to start by making one of these holes. Just don't press down quite as hard. On the thing. Not perfectly centered, but it will be fine. It should work. Nice. Oh, you gotta make the new end, right? Sure. I don't think it needs to be perfectly midline center, you know? Ooh, had to work for that one, huh? Oh, sorry. Nice. They are not straight. Um, we'll just see if it we'll see if it works. <laughs> if it doesn't, we'll do the other side. You can make another one, yeah. Should I clean it up? Yep, that works. That's good. Nice. Last thing is I want this total length to be eight inches, so I'm just kind of guessing and doing my best. <laughs> I have it measured at eight inches, and now I'm putting the clamp right like before it. So, like that's my mark at eight inches, and that's where I'm clamping. Perfect. Okay, so you ready? Yep. Bend together. Bend pretty good. What do you think? Is that going to end up about right? I think so. Yeah. That wasn't so bad. You, <laughs> you could have done that. Glad I was here to help. <laughs> what happened? I accidentally, accidentally. <gasps> you hit the vice, Ellie. How dare you? Nice. Okay, so we have our tool made. So this, I did not perfectly line up my circles, and they're not perfectly in the center, but it'll be okay because this hooks around the anchored end, and it bends it out. Um, I'll show you how it works, but basically we have our tool made and now we're gonna go take our torsion bars out. Okay, so we're gonna fit it real quick just to make sure that we made the tool correctly and then we'll actually do it. <laughs> we'll see. Oh! What? Do you see that? No, what? 
It can't go in. It's... Oh, it's just... Okay, so you just need to lengthen the groove, right? Yeah. Okay, that's easy. We'll just go grind that out. Uh. Love that sound. Yeah, that's good. All right, you wanna go try it again? Should I cut these off or? Do you no, 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 I think the length might be good. I think a little extra length can't hurt. Okay, yeah. It fits? Yep. All right, so it fits on there. Now, show me, will it clear the, uh, say it's on there. Uh-huh. Will it clear the um thing, the seat belt? Yep. Okay, good. Okay, so the tool fits and works, I hope. I'm gonna start on the side that's only on notch two, cause it might be a little easier and we wanna figure out how to do this. So that's what we're gonna do and we're gonna hope that this works. All right, you ready? Yep. Okay, so detension, pull it back. Maybe push it down. I can't push it down. Okay. Um, It needs to be like here, uh -huh. and I need to like push. I need to like push it like that. Like I need to pull like this, and then help it. And then go. Oh. Oh. Oh yeah. Nice, L. I put it in the second one. Good job. No, that's exactly <laughs> what you do. No, I put it in the next well, one. Well, right, why? But you know the process. Way to go. Okay, just don't let your finger get pinched on the uh, seat belt deal. I know. Way to go. Yeah, detension again. So pull it back to you. Uh-huh. You okay? Uh-huh. Hang on Wait, just, it, a just a second. second. I know, I know, I know. I have got it. Good job. Look at that. You did it. That was hard. You totally did it. Okay, so we got it out. That was a little bit harder than I expected. And at Pretty the same tight, time, huh? not as hard as I expected. So basically what I had to do was I had to use the tool to pull down to detension. Oh, so you did have to pull down some. I had to pull down the detention, and then I had to use my hand to get this out of its, like the top out of its, like little notch. Oh, okay. And after I was able to do that, then this started coming down. Oh, okay. Okay, gotcha. So one is left and one is right when it comes to the bars. So I labeled showing which side was left and which side was right. And then I put a little piece of tape um, taping which side was the hinge. So, yeah. Awesome. Okay, so now we're gonna do the right side. All right, I'll hold here. You all set? Yep. All right, you're gonna detension. This is a lot tighter. Just remember, yeah, remember to pull back. Yeah. Oh, nice job. What? That's a lot easier when you've done it once before. <laughs> You're just a pro now. What? That's nice and easy. Oh, look, it says right or left. Oh, that is so cool. It felt really good to make my own tool that made it possible to do this project. So what I'm taking out of the garage is that sometimes figuring out the solution to the problem is just as great as solving it. And if you want to see another time where I made a tool, check out this video where I made a tool to remove Carl's door trim. Special thanks as always to my executive producers, Drew Carter and Kevin and Julia. Thanks for watching, consider subscribing, and I'll see you next time in the garage.